So our final highlight of the night is Mr. Robbie Gill, who's going to give you an update on the YMCA outdoor pool. It's good to see everyone. I um, also want to just give you guys a quick update on how things are going with the Y. So, you know, we opened in October with 2,400 members. Today, the Y has 6,400 members. We uh, don't turn anyone away due to any financial limitations, and right now are providing about $15,000 a month in assistance. We'll see that number cross 20,000 uh, by the end of the summer. When we reach 7,500 to 8,000 members, which will probably be the end of 2025, this Y should be giving away about $400,000 a year in assistance, which would equate to about one in three folks receiving assistance in some capacity. We em we're employing about 80 staff. Uh, they're serving about a thousand visits a day between YMCA members, the Active Aging Center and community partners. So it's a very uh, busy place. Partnering with Queen Anne's County Public Schools, Gunston, Y River Upper and four or five other organizations that are benefiting that. And I just wanna thank you guys for hanging in there and being patient and seeing the vision of what that could be. You guys are a wonderful partner. Um, Kathy and her team are incredible. Um, if you see the work they're doing, it's amazing. In the final phase is the, um, is the outdoor pool, and um, we're excited about it. Um, if you go to the Y today, you'll see they began the site work on that project actually a few days ago. So the big mound is gone that connects to Little Kidwell. Uh, the site work project's about $400,000, and what that includes is uh, parking in the back of the building and an extension that connects from the back parking lot to Little Kidwell. So there's a flow through there and then parking that you'll have next to the pool and outdoor pickleball courts. We are working towards securing uh, donations uh, to be able to break ground on the pool in September of this year to be able to be open by Memorial Day to do the um, the pool, the pavilion, and um, the site work, it's about 1.8 million. We've raised about 800,000 towards that and feel confident we can raise the remaining amount prior to September. So all said and done, when you think about a community-based project and all the heavy lifting that took place and partnerships that made it happen, when this is all done, this is nearly a $25 million project um, completely funded through private, uh, predominantly private funding with some county help and some help from the state as well. But I've spent a lot of time up here, particularly showing other communities what this can look like and bringing a community together and um, just really uh, proud of what this has become and seeing people there. And again, uh, we'll all be out there this summer. I'll get Jim in a bathing suit to jump in there when we go down the slide. <laughs> Please we'll be, don't. It'll be good stuff. Uh, that pool membership's gonna fill up fast. So the beauty of the pool is, is if you're a member of the Y, you're a member of the Y, so you can use the pool and, um, you know, and there is no, as I said, there's no financial barrier to participating. So um, that that is accessible to anyone that wants to participate. That pool that the Y has here is the nicest pool, I would argue, besides the University of Maryland in the state, in that it has the latest technology around reducing chloramines and a good swimming experience. Well, thank you very much.